Five underwater creatures you won't believe actually exist. More than 80% of the Earth's ocean is completely unexplored. We still don't know what's down there or what creatures lie hidden near the sea floor. The five things on this list are truly strange and remarkable because they come from the hidden depths of our world. These are five underwater creatures you won't believe actually exist. Number five, Colossal Squid. Believed to be the largest known invertebrate in our ocean, the Colossal Squid, also known as the Antarctic Squid or the Giant Cranch Squid, is truly terrifying. Bigger than the giant squid, the colossal kind also looks slightly different than its giant cousin. It not only has suckers decorating its arms and tentacles, but for the colossal squid, its limbs also carry sharp hooks, some three-pointed, with the capacity to swivel. Its body is stouter and wider, and it's also believed to carry the biggest eyes in the animal kingdom. One specimen collected had eyes measuring 11 inches in diameter, and when alive, they are estimated to have been even bigger at 12 to 16 inches. The colossal squid inhabits areas around North Antarctica, parts of South America and South Africa, all the way over to New Zealand. You could say it inhabits the entire Southern Ocean. And while we know they exist, there's little we know about the life and habit of this squid since they prefer staying at depths 1,000 feet below the surface. The younger squid or the offspring do tend to rise to the surface, and these are the ones usually spotted. It's believed they consume large fish such as the Patagonian toothfish. In turn, the colossal squids are a favorite of sperm whales and the sleeper shark. Although officially discovered in 1925 when two tentacles were found in the stomach of a sperm whale, a huge colossal squid was seen by French navigator Perron in 1802 just off Tasmania. Several large carcasses were also recovered off the coast of New Zealand from 1870 to 1879, and a few were caught by fishermen in the successive years. One of the most recent sightings and actual capture of a specimen happened in 2007 when a colossal squid was trying to take a toothfish from a fishing boat. Since the squid wouldn't let go of its prey and the fishermen didn't know how to get it off, they instead captured it and hauled it onto their ship. The frozen squid was then taken back to New Zealand for scientific study. Although it was much larger when alive, after it was frozen, the squid measured 14 feet in length and weighed over a thousand pounds. This particular specimen will be back in exhibit at the Museum of New Zealand by 2019. Stories of large squids go back centuries and many believe that the myth of the kraken is inspired by the colossal or the giant squid. Sailors would return home telling stories of large tentacles plucking sailors into the depths of the ocean. Sometimes even entire ships were said to have been pulled apart by them. As a result, superstition and the belief in the mythical kraken became common. It's believed colossal squids can reach as long as 35 feet from head to the end of its tentacles. That alone is a terrifying thought, but for now, we still know little about it. Scientists and biologists believe there's a large breeding population of them underwater, but since they are hard to reach and observe, it's only our guess as to how many out there actually exist. Number 4. Mariana Trench Mystery Shark Stories of giant sea creatures inhabiting the deepest trenches of our oceans have been around for centuries. Many are not taken too seriously though and are relegated to simply being old myths and folk tales. However, on occasion there are instances when we find proof of something large and big lurking beneath the waters, such as the case of a mysterious giant shark caught on camera near the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is one of the deepest canyons found in the Earth's ocean floor. It runs over 1,500 miles and at its widest point is around 43 miles. Its deepest point reaches down an astonishing 36,000 feet. It's believed the trench is one of the oldest in the world, dating back 180 million years, and it could potentially even hide large creatures as old as time. Recently, a team of Japanese researchers conducted an experiment in Suruga Bay off the Mariana Trench. They placed a cage filled with bait to attract potential feeders and wanted to see what kind of sea creatures would show up on the camera. At first, the bait attracted a shoal of deep water sharks, when out of nowhere, the swarm immediately scattered in all directions 
Then a large creature showed up on the screen of the monitor. This giant soared before the camera, its large body lumbering through the screen covering much of it for several seconds. When it cleared, you could clearly see its distinct white eyes. Researchers watching the footage were dumbstruck at the sight of the large shark, which they estimate to be about 50 feet long. Although they're not completely sure what it was, they believe the large mystery shark could be a sleeper shark that has been hiding in the deep trenches for hundreds or even thousands of years. Little is known about sleeper sharks because no one has ever seen it alive, but it's considered to be the biggest shark in existence today. Its presence was only recently confirmed when in 1964, a bulk of its carcass washed ashore in Indonesia. The carcass was considered a young sleeper shark since it only measured about 26 feet. Interestingly, others say the large creature seen in the video could be a megalodon, or at least a relative of it. Megalodons were ancient sharks believed to have reached 40 feet long. Some scientists, however, think that it might have reached up to 50 to 100 feet based on found fossil evidence of its teeth. A megalodon's teeth measures the size of the entire length of a grown person's hand and arm, so scientists can only estimate what the majority of its length and body must have been like. While it's rare to find fossilized remains of a shark since they're all cartilage, their teeth do preserve well. The megalodon is believed to have jaws that could open up to 6 feet wide and 7 feet tall. These jaws were attached by ligaments, which can stretch so it can swallow large prey without worry. It lived roughly from 25 to 1.6 million years ago and is believed to be extinct. However, many people still say the possibility of a megalodon or even evolved remnants of the species could still be alive today, lurking in the depths of our waters. Number 3. Giant Oarfish What's long, bony, and considered to be a bringer of disaster and earthquake warnings? The giant oarfish may not love to bask in the shallows, but on occasion they do show up giving humans a glimpse of their unique bodies and often terrifying size. The giant oarfish is a species that lives in depths of up to 600 to 3,000 feet under the ocean's surface. They're often found in both tropical as well as temperate regions. Because they rarely venture into the shallows, they are seldom seen and only come up to the surface when they're taken by the current, are injured, or are dying. These giant creatures feature a standard length of 3 meters, or about 9.8 feet tall, although large specimens have been found dead or washed ashore measuring up to 50 feet long. In addition to its long, slender, and ribbon-like body, these fishes are often narrow and carry no scales. Their jaws protrude and instead of teeth, they have 40 to 58 gill rakers to help catch tiny planktons or organisms for food. A long distinctive red dorsal fin runs along their entire body, starting from between the eyes all the way down to the tip of its tail. Because of its large body and tough looking face, people who see the oarfish are often frightened thinking it's a violent or dangerous animal. In fact, it's possible the oarfish might have sparked legends about sea serpent sightings in the past. However, the reality is that the giant oarfish is harmless. It doesn't have teeth to bite flesh and are rarely seen because they prefer to lurk in the depths of the ocean after they turn into adults. As recent as 2010, they were captured on film alive by marine scientists in the Gulf of Mexico, and it was revealed they swim with their tails downward. Another video of a pair of oarfish was captured by travelers in Mexico. Both fishes, over 12 feet long, were swimming along the shallows. Even though the holiday makers repeatedly tried coaxing it back into the depths, it would always return to the shallow area. In the end, the specimens died after beaching themselves. Sightings of giant oarfish are still rare, but scientists believe there's a healthy population of them in our oceans. Of course, aside from their rarity, legends and myths from other cultures believe the appearance of one or a few signaled doom. In Japan, for instance, Many of the locals believe the appearance of several slender oarfish signals the possibility of a large earthquake. They called them the messengers from the sea god's palace, but still today, little is known about this magnificently large fish. Number 2. Megamouth Shark Sharks reign underwater, and while we are all familiar with some of the largest sharks out there, 
There are species who are equally large and terrifying that prefer to hide in the shadows of the depths. The megamouth shark is one of these. It's a huge creature that can weigh up to 2,700 pounds with lengths of up to 16 feet. Usually, megamouths dive down as deep as 15,000 feet and it prefers to stay there during the day. But during dusk and possibly night, it ventures out into shallower waters. Featuring a large circular mouth about four feet across, this shark swims with its mouth constantly open. It does this to feed on small plankton, attracting them with a unique light-producing organ that draws them toward it. It has 50 rows of teeth, but only three rows are actually functional. The curious thing about this shark is that scientists didn't even know it existed until 1976. It's one of the largest species underwater, but because of its elusive nature, constantly hiding in the depths of the ocean, it's rarely seen. The first one was captured after it got tangled in a sea anchor in Hawaii. Since then, only a dozen have been seen and captured. Megamouth sharks are ovoviviparous, meaning the young sharks develop inside eggs and remain inside the mother's body until they hatch. Although they are not fished for consumption, certain areas of the world have accidentally captured the shark and sometimes end up selling its meat for consumption after examination. Characteristically, megamouths are considered poor swimmers because of their flabby body, soft fins, and lack of keels. Most of the megamouths captured are often in the vicinity of Taiwan and Japan, However, they are also found in the waters of Hawaii, California, Indonesia, Mexico, Australia, and Ecuador. As of March 2018, there have only been 99 specimens of the megamouth shark caught or even sighted. Number 1. Leptocephalus giganteus Most people might not be familiar with the scientific term Leptocephalus giganteus, but essentially it means a giant or supersized eel. The eel was described by Peter Henry John Castle in 1959 as a deep water dwelling eel that is said to be found worldwide. Many believe that this beast could be the real life counterpart of the famous sea serpent lore that proved popular in olden days. For centuries, sailors and other seafarers have reported encountering large serpent-like creatures in the middle of the sea. The curious thing about them is while its existence is true, there have been no captured adult specimens as of yet. On January 31, 1930, a Danish research vessel called the Dana did manage to capture some large eel larvae. The larva was captured at a depth of 900 feet south of the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa. To put it in perspective, a typical European eel larva measures 3 inches long while a conger eel larva is about 4 inches. However, for the eel larva recovered by the Dana, it measured a staggering 6 feet long. The ichthyologist on board, Dr. Anton Brunn, had to concede that if the larva is already 6 feet, he can only imagine the possible size of an adult specimen. Regular eels increase 18 times their larva size when they turn adults, and the conger eel transforms almost 30 times. For the Dana specimen, it's estimated that an adult would be around 108 to 180 feet. Conservatively, it would at least be 50 feet long, which is still impressive nonetheless. Over time, the specimen was kept in a jar of alcohol and placed at Copenhagen University's Zoological Museum. It has been taken out once in a while to be examined and over time has shrunk as a result. A similar specimen was also captured in 1959 by Peter Castle. This one was similar to the one obtained by the Dana vessel and was formerly called Leptocephalus giganteus. The Dana specimen was later assigned to the same classification. Of course, there are those who argue of the specific classification and that it might not be a true eel. Regardless though, if there are still no adult specimens, then its actual size is still subject to questions. Moreover, its physical looks are also subject to speculation, but it's believed it has a thick body and comes with a rather knife-like shape. It might also have a similar shape to that of the conger eel. The Leptocephalus giganteus continues to remain a mystery. Perhaps it's only a matter of time before we eventually sight an adult specimen and know for sure what exactly it is. So there were five underwater creatures you won't believe actually exist. 
With such a vast amount of unexplored ocean remaining here on Earth, we shouldn't be surprised if one day we encounter creatures even more fascinating than the ones mentioned here. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel because every Wednesday and Saturday we have new videos for you to check out. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you soon.